I've had a question sent in from a gentleman who wants to remain anonymous and um, he's had uh, ultrasound guided foam sclerotherapy to treat large varicose veins uh, just over a year ago and he says that all of his veins are starting to come back now and he's asked is this normal? Well, the simple answer, of course, is not normal. And also, uh, we would be very concerned if he only had foam sclerotherapy for large veins. Although we know foam sclerotherapy is very good as uh, an adjunct, in other words, to be used with something like a laser, an endovenous laser or radiofrequency, it rarely, in our experience, is successful in the long term in very big varicose veins. Now, there are some enthusiasts who use it, but when we get to see patients afterwards, what we quite often find is the veins have opened up again. Again. So what I've suggested this gentleman is that he have a venous duplex ultrasound scan and find out whether it is the same veins that have come up again because the uh, foam has actually not closed the veins very uh, se securely um, or whether he's actually developed new veins. It does remind me of a couple of patients we've already had this year who have had foam sclerotherapy in the past. Initially thought they'd had a good result because the foam causes clots in the, in the um, veins, not dangerous clots, not deep vein thrombosis or anything like that but what's called thrombophlebitis and what those clots do is initially they close the varicose veins so it looks like they've gone away then slowly over a few months to a year or so the veins open up again as the clots dissolve and it really means that they've had very little done in the long term that's why our preference is not to do foam sclerotherapy for the large veins but to use it in conjunction with the different catheter techniques like laser and radiofrequency that we know work in large veins.